I was raised like very religious Muslim. We were told, this is true, we were, when we were little kids, we were told that staring at a woman with a lustful gaze was the same sin as stabbing the prophet's nephew <laughs> in the back <laughs> while he's praying. <laughs> Look at a girl, stab the prophet's nephew in the back while he's praying, equal. So I was terrified of women, you know? And then I saw, I was around 10, I remember. Do you guys remember that Cindy Crawford died Pepsi commercial? Where she's wearing the tight white tank top and those hip-hugging jeans. And she's in the convertible, her hair in the breeze. Then she gets out and she walks over to the vending machine and she puts in the quarter. She picks her drink. Then she pops her, the tab. And she puts the cylinder to her lips. I remember thinking, I am stabbing the fuck out of the prophet's <laughs> nephew right now. <laughs> At that age, though, I didn't know what sex was. Like, I would not even know what I would do if I was in a room alone with Cindy, just like squeeze her mole, you know? Like, <laughs> that sounds awesome today, actually. <laughs> but then all that uh, innocence disappears when my cousin gives me a videotape. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that's what I would do to her. <laughs> it's a porn. I don't know if you guys. <laughs> and it was too early for me to see porn. Like, my body wasn't ready. I put it in. I watched it for 30 seconds. I pulled it out. I had a fever for three days. <laughs> I promised God I would never watch it again. And then a couple weeks later, I got curious. I was like, well, I didn't really give it a chance, did I? What is the motivation of these characters? <laughs> and then I put it back in, and then you couldn't fucking stop me. <laughs> Which is where I still am today. <sighs> All right, here's a weird side note to that story. We've known each other. It gets weird for a little bit. So we're okay with that? Getting weird for a second? All right. So it's a regular porn, you know, beginning to end, men, women. <laughs> you know what a porn is. But the preview before, there's a two minute preview for a different porn before it. And that, I don't know how else to say it, but it's for a preview for a porn where the people uh, defecate on each other. Yay. Uh, security, can we, uh, There's a monster in the room. Other than you, everybody was very awkward. And then you yelled, and then everybody was even more awkward. <laughs> it, I, cause like, I was 10, you know? It was too early for me to see porn, but it was definitely way too early for me to realize that people like her existed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part, though, is that it's a regular porn, but that's the preview. Like, they're like, do you like sex? Well, then you might like shitting on people. <laughs> do you like driving a car? Well, then maybe you want to drown in a submarine. That's on fire. <laughs> but I saw it so early that now I think about it a lot. <laughs> Not in like a sexual way, but I think some synapse in my brain formed, and now it's just a reference that comes up in my life a lot. Like, I'll see somebody run a red light, and I'll be like, he ran a red light, but what do I know? Sometimes people shit on each other. <laughs> With red towels in the background. They had red towels. Because <laughs> they're in the bathroom, even though they're not using any of the facilities. They're still in the bathroom, like, we're still a fucking civilization. <laughs> we're not horrific beasts. It's a big world. But back to the regular porn. I'm sorry, I know it's very disappointing. Uh, regular porn, I would watch it whenever my parents were out of the house, you know, it was go time, followed each time by the inevitable guilt-ridden shower. But you can't shampoo away sin, which is what I thought it was. But this happens for three months. Whenever my parents were out of the house, I would watch it, feel awful. And uh, okay, so this was a VHS tape. This was in Pakistan, which is a uh, third world country. And sometimes in Pakistan, the electricity goes. 
And when the electricity goes, you don't know if it's gone for five minutes or if it's gone for five days. One day I'm at home, my mom's out for an errand. I'm almost done, but not quite. The electricity goes. And I am fucked. Because I can't get the tape out of the VCR. And I'm like, well, I'm going to have to run away. I'm going to pack my bags and walk the earth. Which sucks, because I love my parents. And I'm 12 years old. What am I going to do for money? Just like go town to town, any work needs doing? I can beat Mario and draw a Ninja Turtle. That's my whole skill set. I remember specifically thinking I should bring my dad's suit with me. That way I can grow into it and then go on job interviews. <laughs> So my whole plan is to ride out the next 10 years of my life on the streets of Karachi, which CNN once dubbed the city of terror. That is true. BBC was much kinder. They called a city of nightmares, which at least implies that we have dreams, you know? And I'm like, all right, that's ridiculous. I can't do that. So I get this idea, brilliant idea. I'm going to get my dad's toolkit. I'm going to open up the VCR and just get the tape out, right? So I open it, I, I lift the cover off, and the tape is buried under layers and layers. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> like, I'd just be able to get the tape right out. There'd be like a little like snowman. Like, here's the tape you wanted. Like, mm, thank you. This has been wonderful. Here's your hat. The tape is, there's no snowman. The tape, <laughs> layers and layers of parts, none bigger than that. But I'm like, I have to get at the tape. So I just start unscrewing. I start unscrewing tiny parts, just tossing them over my shoulder. Because so I'm like, I'll be able to put this back together. It's not like engineers made this thing. Which is, turns out, exactly who was making this. So I get all the parts out, I get to the tape, just the panicked confidence of a 10-year-old, you know? I get to the tape, I rip it out, and I look behind me, and the entire floor is covered in like tiny gadgets and gizmos and dude, all the same color. I have no idea how they go back in, but I'm like, I have to get everything back in. So I start putting stuff back in, I'm doing the best I can do. I'm like, it's, like, it's hard, it's like a satanic jigsaw puzzle <laughs> in 3D, you know? I'm sweating into the VCR, which is like only the second worst thing that's happened to it <laughs> that day. <laughs> Wait, are you guys thinking I'm fucking the VCR? That's not happening. <laughs> I feel like that was the vibe I got from you. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I'm not just like watching the screen and this is how I do it, right? <laughs> just fuck the VCR while I watch the screen? No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I finally get all the parts back in. I put the cover back on, I screw it back on. <laughs> Success, I did it. And then I look behind me and there are two little parts just sitting there. <laughs> I have no idea where they go. So I go and I hide them in my room. Because in my head, I think if my dad sees them, he's gonna know exactly what happened. <laughs> he's gonna be like, isn't that the transmogrifier for the VCR? And that's the flux capacitor, you've been watching porn. <laughs> And the electricity comes back, I swear, before my mom gets home. And the VCR works, but it's never quite the same. <laughs> it's got this look in its eyes like it's been through a war, you know? Like, <laughs> you haven't seen the things I've seen. The fast forward doesn't always work. It makes this weird clicking sound all the time. You have to turn the TV up so you don't hear the clicking. A Couple weeks later, my mom's like, I'm gonna go to get it fixed. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'll take you to get it fixed. <laughs> Mom, don't, just stay home. I'll take you to get it fixed. So I go, and I go to the video store, and I give it to the guy, I put it on the counter, and he plugs it in, and it starts making that clicking sound, and it's a sound he's heard before. <laughs> and he looks at me, and he leans in, and he says, next time you get a tape stuck in there, bring it to me. I won't tell your parents. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I thought of all the clicking sounds in all the houses where Pakistani boys had ripped tapes out of VCRs. <laughs> he knew exactly what had happened. There was no lying to this man. The other weird postscript to that story is uh, when I got to be like 14, I got so, you know how you could like hook up two VCRs and copy stuff over? Uh, I started uh, copying my favorite porn scenes onto the middle of other kids' movies I owned. <laughs> yeah, I was making boner jams at 14. <laughs> like an utter scumbag. <laughs> Ugh. And then I would lend these videos to my friends. I was their porn supplier. Yeah, like a scumbag. Because <laughs> it was awesome for them. It was in the middle of other movies. They didn't even have to like, like sneak them into the house. They were just like, it's just Jurassic Park, Mom. And then you just go, oh, you know, oh, act two is awesome. <laughs> but here's the weird, OK, here's the best thing I did. This is the culmination of that story. This, OK, so you guys remember the movie Mask? I don't, I don't mean Jim Carrey with the green face. I mean like Cher with the kid with the big face, you know? I gave my friend the movie Mask with porn in the middle. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I gave him the movie Mask and told him there was porn in the middle. <laughs> but there was no porn, it was a prank. <laughs> so he became the first guy in history to watch the entirety of Mask with an erection. <laughs> no porn, just a disfigured kid touching lives and slowly dying at probably the same rate that his boner was deflating. <laughs> he called me afterwards and he was like, I'm not even angry, that was great. <laughs> Another weird postscript to that story is that I left Pakistan and then after I left, my mom sold all my VHSs. <laughs> So there's some little kid watching Dick Tracy, like, this movie makes me want to pee really bad. <laughs> it's just biology, Austin. <laughs> <laughs>